What is going on everybody, Koalos here, and today I will be showing you guys how you can get a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this website that I have in the description. It is a GitHub website. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this part right here, find which one you are. I am Windows 64, so I'm going to hit here, download it, and you need the WinRAR, 7-zip, whatever you use to open up the archives. As you can see, I made a folder on my desktop called Randomizer, and I have the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM in here. I will not provide the ROM to you, but uh, there are multiple ways of getting one. Uh, what you're going to want to do is double click on this folder right here, select everything in it, and then drag it into the Randomizer folder. Open up Ocarina of Time Randomizer. I recommend doing it as administrator just to be sure. Then this will pop up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit select ROM, locate your ROM, so mine would be in randomizer and there's my rom right there and then uh, from here you can just change a bunch of stuff like main rules detailed logic cosmetics and everything and i'll actually make a quick one just to show you guys that does work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the tunic to goron red and i'm going to change the some other stuff like this um yeah i'll just put a time lapse here Okay, so once you have everything uh, selected how you want it, you're going to want to go to the output directory and hit select directory. And pretty much you're just going to want to pick a folder. I'm going to do the original one right here. So uh, desktop randomizer output, put it right here. And then you hit generate patched ROM. And if you go in the output folder, as you can see, it'll make a uh, spoiler file. If you have it checked, I do create spoiler log right here. And uh, the actual ROM will be here, but it will not actually work until this is done. So in the meantime, if you do not already, you're going to want to go ahead and get an emulator. I recommend RetroArch because uh, I've heard that Project 64 crashes when you use the pause menu. So I'm just going to open up RetroArch really quick right here. All right, right here, we're going to go to... Uh, I don't need to have a tutorial for this. All right, so here is the uh, randomized ROM. We're going to load it up here. And I'm going to show you guys that it actually is real and it's not like fake. I don't know why I would even fake this. It's so stupid. Um, if you know it'll work, if it says randomizer right there, that's a obvious one. So we're just going to have a file name. I don't know what that even means. But if you recall, I did have uh, different settings checked, like uh, Shuffle Kokiri Sword. And then I had uh, Goron Red. And look, it, it is Goron Red. So, yep, this. Is definitely working okay so if you guys still are not convinced um, I'm gonna go show you that I have the Kokiri sword shuffled as well that you saw before so we're gonna go to the Kokiri sword uh, placement right here and boom see it's a recovery heart so this obviously is a randomizer and if you want you can look at the output log the spoiler log and you can see where stuff is um, there's a bunch of different settings that you can play around with um, but yeah that's pretty much it Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have some fun with a, this randomizer. Like I said, everything besides the ROM and the emulator will be in the description of the video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.